Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new episode. Today, I'm going to be talking about how kayak fishing changed the way I started fishing, really. So basically, I started fishing on the bank where I'm stand standing right now talking to you guys. So this is what we're going to be talking about. So, so what I'm going to be talking about is how kayak fishing really changed the way I started fishing, really. So basically... So the two, I actually have two kayaks. So the two kayaks I've been using really, I started, my first kayak I got was back in like 2019. But before then, before I even had a kayak, I was uh, <clears throat> fishing from the bank. And uh, I really like fishing from the bank really. And uh, yeah, that's back in 2019 is when I got my very first fishing ever kayak as you as you should should say and a lot of you people that are watching at home probably have a kayak and you guys would know but back in 2019 is when I got my very first kayak and I really started to explore the waters and fish off a kayak really and then as the years start to roll by back in last year which was 2020 I actually got the kayak that's over there that you see mainly where I went kayak fishing I get up against five mile an hour winds that cut that month ago but that kayak right there actually was like my favorite uh, it's my favorite kayak now because now this kayak right behind me that one is pretty good but besides the fact it has like a really bad draining problem so when you go to use it it does not work right and you constantly have to drain it to really use the kayak and it's a it's pretty much a pain to really use it for like kayak fishing and my other one pretty much is like the best one to use for kayak fishing it's very stable it's not as wobbly I mean it's kinda of wobbly but you gotta know how to really fish in a kayak because that's how kayaks are they'll either say weight limit 300 pounds to like 400 pounds <clears throat> that's how kayaks usually are and as you can see it's it's a pretty good day to go fishing right now and it's pretty much evening time and that's pretty much how I started getting into like kayak fishing now now uh, when I when I went when, when I went into kayak when I was fishing from the bank that's when really everything started to open up and it seemed like fishing from the bank was probably the the easiest way to do and just fishing from the bank was probably the best feeling in the world to go bass fishing and I still fish from the bank here and there I'll get on my kayak honestly just to say I probably fish on my kayak more than I do fish on the bank but it'll be like certain days I'll fish on the bank and I'll catch more fish on the bank but I'll but at the same time I'll fish on my other kayak and I'll catch like five fish throughout the whole day and then I'm like holy cow this is I'm starting to see something here this is this is what I need to do and rather than fish on the bank because fishing on the bank is just as good as fishing on your kayak when it comes to whatever fishing you're doing that's basically how I picture it and ever since I've been into this fishing mode I've, I've always either fish from the bank or the kayak and also what another thing that I love fishing from the bank is I like how you can just sit there and wait for the fish to come for your bait or you can just work the bait and make the fish come for your bait and usually when you're fishing on your kayak or any type of john boat that you're fishing on or whatever that's like the best thing to fish on but also here's another reason why I mainly will fish on my kayak and I'm going to tell you guys that right now. Another reason that I like fishing on my kayak is that my kayak has got storage compartments, it's got bungee cords, it's, it's also got a dang seat. Now, I could get a papa, I could get a papa chair and just sit on the bank right now and just let it, just give it a dangle. But I would rather dangle on my kayak over there and fish off that because one, it's got a seat, it's got a seat with straps that you can sit on it's got a backrest so when you sit back 
you, you can re you can actually rest your back on the kayak. That's also another bonus. And also another bonus is that it's got rod holders that it can hold your fishing poles on the boat while you fish. And that's just and also you could also put a sonar on your kayak if you really wanted to. But down here, I don't think you really want a sonar because you're not trying to be that guy that's like the best fisherman out here. This is just a backyard pond. You don't really need a sonar if you really want one. That's just too, that's just too out there. I really don't, if I, even if I got a sonar, I would never know how to use it. So basically, that's why I would fish on the kayak most of the time. <clears throat> and yeah, that's pretty much the whole reason why I would fish on a kayak. And also, when, you, when you're fishing on the bank, there might be places on the bank where you can never reach to. There might be a, a certain spot where you want to cast to, and you could never reach that spot. Say if you were trying to fish where them three poles are, and you go to cast out probably 30 yards, and you and you try to target a fish, but you never, but you never seem to figure out a way to reach that fish. When you go to cast, that's not where you really want your, where you want to cast. You just gotta think outside the box, really, and that's the way. That's how I see it. I really don't care if I catch a fish. Sometimes I'm just really glad to come out here and actually try to fish. Half the time I won't catch any fish. As as I, as you guys know, you can fish this pond for probably four days and you won't catch a single fish, and that's just known to man. And yeah, so guys, hopefully that will. Want 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 you make you guys fish on the kayak or the bank? But that's what I shoot. That's what I choose. I'll probably fish mainly on the kayak on certain days, and I'll mainly fish on the bank on certain days. Well, uh, that's all I got for you guys. So thank you guys for watching, and keep fishing, never stop.